Pace car makes that dive at the pit road. We'll enter the restart zone. Green flag will fly. We're racing from the Rockingham Speedway. Spencer Ray picks up the lead early. He will lead lap number one as the field hightails it down in the turn numbers one and two. Getting rather unsettled as, oh, look out, Musadi spinning the round. He'll find the outside wall, and that will be caution fly number one on the evening. Oh, and now Sousa going to turn. Kaiser in the pit road. He's going to hang on. He will find the pit wall. That will effectively end Sean Kaiser's day as Jeffrey Souza hooks the 24, entering the pit lane. Souza trying to finish the job of Baron Morton here one and two, but he's not gonna get it done. Whoa! Scrambling to the bottom, and can he hang on to it? Way to the inside, trying to hang on, he'll slide back up into traffic, and he'll go and be turned into the outside wall, and that will bring up the caution flag, and somehow, Nobody hits the 14, oh, but Ames will go hard into the outside wall. Take a look back, this is what happened to the 45 car just moments ago. By himself, working out of turn, numbers one and two, slides to the inside. Overcorrects, does a nice job though, keeps that car out of the inside wall. Exiting turn two as we work to Thunder Rally. Yep, just got loose. And boom. Hard hit into the inside wall. This is working the back straightaway as a, uh, oh, oh, hard into the outside wall. And in fact, uh, nearly wiped out Sean Kaiser as well. Kaiser having to scramble uh, kind of down to that inside line. That's not ever a pleasant thing to have to do. This is uh, gonna be with Kaiser. And in fact, time to know for to take the jump. Now this is the Camarota truck parts Camaro. Oh, sorry, that was a little bit earlier in fact uh, so we'll try one more time to jump back and get a better view on uh, kind of how this happened as uh, Kaiser AC Grinnell is going to find there's the outside wall now Sean Kaiser scrambles oh just kissed it with the left rear we're working down some groin pains just got uh, computers fixed up here back on the home front so we're trying to make this work as best we can spins away to the inside of Ryan Dingler and he'll take that race lead away. So the number eight car getting around the one we return just in the lick of time. Ryan Dingler trying to fight back as he'll try to work his way. Oh, he's already lost it there, entering turn one. Kicking the back end way out. And he's going to fully lose it. Yep, right there, out of turn two. Slides it up and, oh, he has found the outside wall, but right at the safer barrier. So he may have... Unless he's escaped most of the damage, I'll give him credit on a fine job uh, getting that car back underneath him. Let's ride on board with Dingler and show you what happened. Here's a look on, uh, well, this is what happened in, uh, coming out of turn number four. Just got sideways and slid into the infield grass, and then that kicked him straight on a heavy shot into the outside wall, and then nine to go, excuse me. Trying to battle it out for that uh, third position. Oh, a bit of door contact that time by. Oh, and that's going to put Best wide into turn one. Oh, and he's trying to get back to Gassi. Oh, right to the bottom. And I thought for a moment he was going to take him out. Coming around through turn two. Will work out of turn numbers three and four. And he will pick up his second win becoming the uh, second repeat winner of 2023 in the LTAC All-Street Media Cup Series fifth season of competition.